woodworkers always say you can never have enough clamps. Even though they're not thought of as real tools, when you need a clamp to hold a project together for gluing, you realize how important they are. But clamps are expensive. Who wants to spend good money on something as mundane as a clamp? So why not make your own? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a woodworking clamp just like this one. I'll take you through the process step by step. When we're finished, you'll have a useful tool to add to your woodworking collection. I've already cut the wood to length and must cut it in half lengthwise. Now I measure and mark for the location of the holes I will be drilling. Here I am marking for the angle of each draw piece. I now use my bandsaw to cut the angle on the draw. Several holes need to be drilled for the threaded rods and the nuts associated with them. In the side of the right draw I drill single holes. Then I change to a larger bit to drill the place where the nuts will be. In the side of the left jaw, I drill two holes. On the face of the left jaw, I drill two large holes. These do not go all the way through, but are deeper than the holes for the rods. With the drilling finished, I sand all faces of the clamp jaws and remove any layout lines. The wood for the handles are cut from another scrap of 2x4. I'm putting copper caps on my handles to dress them up. For this, I will have to round over one end of the handle to fit the cap. Yes, this would be easier on a lathe. With the ends fitted, I drill a hole in each cap. Now I drill a hole in the end of the handle. And ease the corners with the sander. Time to assemble the handles. I glue the rod into the hole with epoxy resin. As well as the caps. Now I cut two dowel pieces. After the epoxy in the handles has set, I can assemble the rest of the clamp. Now I thread a nut almost to the end of the threaded rod. I put the rod through the jaw and thread on a second nut. Here I put a nut into the hole in the left jaw and thread the rod through it. Placing one of the nuts in the upper hole, I thread the threaded rod through it. When the rod is most of the way through the nut, I thread on another nut a ways onto the rod. I put the other jaw on the rod and thread a nut into it. I give it a little test. I'm using a strong epoxy glue to put the nut onto the rod.
Now I unthread the nuts to put some epoxy on the rod. Then I thread them back, leaving a little play. Now I glue that loose nut just inside its socket, much as I did with the other rod. After the epoxy has set, I can glue plugs in the open holes. The plugs need to press against the nuts so that they won't spin. For this, I'm using wood glue. When the glue has dried, I use my sander to flatten the plugs. To protect my clamp and prevent wood glue from sticking to it, I apply a coat or two of boiled linseed oil. Finally, I burn my mark on the face of one jaw. My clamp is finished. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. Now go and make something with wood. See ya!